part one. Now let us continue with the second question in gravitational force and field strength. Okay. Two point masses X and Y of 25 kg and 15 kg are separated by a distance of 4 meter. Okay. So we have two point mass X and Y. Find the magnitude and direction of the gravitational field at point P and Q. Okay, I need to find gravitational field for two points for P and Q. So uh what the question requires us to find is the gravitational gravitational field, uh, which which is AG. Okay, I want to find the magnitude and direction. So this is a vector. Yeah. So gravitational field, what's the formula? Gravitational field uh actually is uh, this formula. We use this formula. Gravitational field equal to gm over r square. Okay, gm over r square. Uh, the mass is actually the point mass that provide the gravitational field. Okay, uh, so make sure you use the correct mass. Use the point mass, not the test mass. Now, um, we okay. I put in the um, information given. We have mass x and mass y, which is uh, given here. Mass x and mass y. Okay, now we're going to find the question A. We want to find the gravitational field at point P. Okay, at point P. So clearly we have two point mass here. Uh, we have point uh, here, we have one point mass. At Y also have another point mass. And both of these mass, they provide gravitational field for P and Q. Okay. Now let's let us look at P first. Okay, so let us first draw the gravitational field uh, for point P, okay, given by X and Y. Alright, so it should be uh, okay, AX, uh, gravitational field is attractive. So attract towards uh, X, uh, this is AX. And then Y also, attract towards Y, AY. Uh, okay, uh, so... Uh, and then we must put in the symbol, the, the sign, okay, uh, to the right positive, to the left negative. So the positive negative sign to show the direction, very important. Okay, so next uh, we can continue with our calculation. So AY is positive. Sorry. Oops. Okay, AY is positive. And then AX is negative. Uh, okay, AX is negative. So now um, let us apply the formula GM over R square. Okay, GM over R square. So AY is uh, G mass Y. Okay, it's a mass Y. Mass Y over uh, RY square. Okay, uh, negative. G M X over R X square. Okay. Uh, then we can uh, factorize out the common, which is the G. Uh, G factorize out. So easier for us to solve the question. So mass Y over R Y square. Negative mass X over R X square. Okay. Now. Uh, let us substitute the uh, value. So G is uh, 6.67 exponent negative 11. And then uh, the mass Y is uh, mass Y is okay, 15. Uh, because this is the point mass. Mass Y is 15. So just put in 15. And then R Y. R Y, how far is. Uh, E from Y. E from Y is actually, um, you know, from here to here, it is 2 meter. From P to X is also 2 meter. Uh, so we need this value, yeah? So uh, the RY is 2 meter. So just put 2 square. And then MX, mass X, mass X is 25 kilogram. So put 25 kilogram 
and then 2 square. Ah, then we calculate, we will get negative 1.67 exponent, uh, negative 10 newton per kilogram. Okay, uh, or, okay, gravitational field strength actually has two units. Okay, either put newton per kilogram or a meter per second square. Okay, it has two units. But normally, uh, Newton per kilogram refer to gravitational field strength. Uh, the meter per second square refer to acceleration. Okay, gravitational gravitational acceleration. So uh, this question asks about gravitational field field strength. So better you put Newton per kilogram. Okay. So uh, this is the answer. Okay, uh, but you need to give also the direction. So negative means uh, to the left. Uh, the resultant is to the left. That means AX is stronger than AY. That's why the resultant is to the left, towards X. So right, uh, right there, your, your direction uh, towards X. Yeah? Or you can write uh, to the left. Okay, that's the answer for direction towards x. Yeah. Now, um, let us uh, do the part B, which is a uh, gravitational field at point Q. Okay. So at point Q, where is the direction of gravitational field? Okay, I redraw over here. Uh, point Q, x and y. Now. Uh, let us first draw the gravitational field by x. So, attract towards x. Okay. Gravitational field is a vector. You must draw arrows. So, this is ax. And ay is um, uh, towards y. Okay. Uh, this is ay. Okay. So, um, and then you need to, you know, this one is a, uh, uh, x and y axis. You need to resolve ax and ay into xy components before you can continue doing. Okay, so I want to resolve. Right, so I resolve. Sorry. Um, okay, I need to resolve this into components. Oh, but I need the angles. I need the angles before I can resolve. And also, I need to find the value of ax and ay before I can resolve. So first of all, you need to uh, find okay, uh, ax and ay. Okay, let us continue with finding the ax and ay. So ax is equal to the formula gmx over rx squared. Okay, uh, so what is uh, mass x? Mass x is uh, 25 kilogram. Okay. So uh, 6.67 exponent negative 11. Mass x is, sorry, 25 kilogram. So just put in 25 kilogram over rx. Rx, that means how far is q from x? Oh, I need the distance. So, okay, I have redraw here. Uh, this is, uh, we want to find distance Qx because uh, in the diagram we have Qp 2 meter, Xp 2 meter. Uh, so, uh, this is the one, yeah? Q, uh, this is, uh, here is actually point P. Okay. Uh, so, I want to find Qx. Okay. Uh, this is actually the, this is actually the uh, Rx. Okay. This is the Rx. And uh, of course, this is, this is the Ry. Okay, from Q to Y is Ry. So what, the, what is Rx? Uh, this is right angle triangle. So uh, this is also uh, uh, same, uh, this two and same side, two and two. So we can say we got the angles. Uh, this one is should be 45 degree. This one also should be 45 degree because it's same side. Okay, so uh, yeah. We can use Pythagoras theorem to find the Rx, so uh, which is um, 
uh, square root 2 square plus 2 square and we got what do we get what, what do we get uh, 4 plus 4 is 8 uh, so it is third 8 uh, third 8 is rx so i think ry should be the same also yeah third uh, 2 square 2 square so this is third 8 also uh, and this is uh, 45 degree and this is also 45 degree all right okay so now we got that uh, we can find the value of ax because we already got the distance okay so uh, this is third eight third eight but don't forget the square many students forget about this square yeah they forget to, to square that square it and what's the answer for ax ax is uh, uh, 2.0 Eight four four exponent uh, negative ten a uh, newton per kilogram. Uh, that is uh four. Uh, okay. I think we sh we shouldn't put ax because um we we try to denote this as one and this as x as one y as two. So better we put this as a one. Uh, instead of ax because later we're going to use the x component and y component so it's a bit um, so just change this to mass one and r1 okay and one one all right uh, so this is um, just put this as one all right uh, just put this as one oops sorry uh, so this put as 1, this is as 2. Uh, you know, this is x and this is y. Lah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Just put this as 1, this is 2. Uh, uh, okay, come on. Uh, this is 1, this is 2. All right. Uh, better. Yeah. So now, let us continue. Um, find a2, which is ay. Okay. So a two, okay, a two equal to uh, g mass two over r square. Uh, this is using mass two, which is the mass y. Okay, so um, let's continue. Our g is a uh, six point six seven exponent negative eleven. Our mass two is a uh, 15 kilogram okay it is 15 kilogram and uh r uh, r2 ry is also the two uh so this is third two so what do we get we get 1.2506 exponent exponent negative 10 newton per kilogram uh, that's the A2. Okay, that's the A2. Now, um, we got the A1 and A2. Okay, maybe we, this one we can put as uh, A1. This one as A1. This one as A2. Now, we can resolve into X and Y component. Okay, resolve this into the X component and Y component. Uh, you know, that's why I don't put this as X and Y. Because we have X and Y component. I don't, we wouldn't want to get confused. Okay. So, oh, okay, we, have, we already have the angles. We have the angles. Uh, this is uh, both 45 degree, 45 degree. So, we can resolve. Uh, remember to put the sign going to the right, positive. Going upward, also positive. Left, negative. Downward is negative. Uh, okay. So, now uh, let's uh, get the x component, ax. Okay. So let's find the total AX, which is the horizontal component. Total AX, we have A2, uh, A2, uh, positive A2, sine 45, and negative A1, sine 45. So we have, sorry, we have, uh, all right, uh, where is it? Huh? Okay, um, so, uh, sorry, okay, let's continue. So, our total AX is, uh, we have uh, 
a2 positive a2 sine 45 and negative a1 sine 45 okay positive a2 uh, sorry a2 um sine 45 and negative a1 sine 45 okay ah so let's substitute the value and we will get the answer negative 5.8959 exponent uh, negative 11 newton per kilogram okay that's ax now ay let's get the ay total ay is equal to um total ay equal to okay ay the one component we have uh negative negative a1 cos 45 and negative a2 cos 45 okay so uh, negative a1 cos 45 and negative a2 cos 45 yes that that's it yeah uh cos 45 cos 45 and what do we get we will get negative 2.3 582 exponent uh, negative 10 newton per kilogram yes that's ax and ay so uh, this one is going to the left and this one is going downward okay x going to the left y going downward because they are both negative so let's find the resultant let's find the resultant we have um ax uh, here yeah negative and we have also ay negative going downward so the, our resultant is in this direction uh, this is total a for p okay total a for no 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 total a for q okay uh, that's q not p so this is a uh, total a for q uh, and we need to find the angle theta. The theta is the theta is below the negative x axis. Okay, let's let us find the total total aq. Total aq is equal to um, uh, you know the Pythagoras theorem of ax and ay. Uh, so just take the total ax u square plus total ay square again and square root and the answer is 2.4 2.43 exponent negative 10 newton per kilogram yeah that's the magnitude now the direction direction is a uh, direction uh find the tangent theta you must get the direction also because it's a vector so Tangent theta is ay over ax. Yeah, eh, no square. Okay, so um, just take the ay, you know, the ay over ax, uh, modulus and anti tangent, and the answer is 75.96 degree below, below what? Below this, uh, below the uh, negative x axis okay uh, so that's the answer all right so you get it correct yeah 2.43 7596 uh, 2.43 yes that's correct okay so that's how you find the resultant gravitational field strength uh, you must use the vector method remember you must draw arrows Use the vector method, do the x component, y component stuff, and find the magnitude using Pythagoras theorem and uh, tangent theta to find direction. Just treat the gravitational field as vectors. All right. Uh, this is how you draw the. For vector, you must draw arrows. Uh, you must draw arrows. You must draw a vector diagram. Do x and y components. All right. So now, so stay tuned for the following videos. Bye!